Hey guys, how's it going? It's Tom Archer here, and today I want to talk to you about how to create some dramatic edits on your portraits, but that can be animal portraits or portraits of people, whatever, but um, here's a quick before and after of an edit I did on an old image of a cheetah that I took in the Serengeti last year. So this is the before and this is the after. The before image was actually already edited and that's along my normal kind of style of making stuff bright and punchy and colourful. But I looked at it and I thought it's just a little bit unexciting so I wanted to make something a bit more dramatic out of it and I created this portrait and I wanted to teach you guys how I did that. So, once again, just a before and after. So, okay, right, so we're going to start off with um, darkening this down. Actually, before I start, I should say that this edit style only works on certain images. So, you want an image like this where there's light on the front of the um, subject. So, you want more light on their face and less light in the background. It needs to really not be too sunny because it doesn't generally work quite so well if you've got a bright sunny background. You need a background that can be turned dark. Um, and it's really helpful if the light's coming from one direction like it is here where it's kind of hitting the subject on one side. That's where it works really well. Um, but give it, a, you know, give it a play with some different images and you'll see which works and which doesn't. It needs to look natural. Let's start off with exposure. So I'm going to pull the exposure down probably, let's say, maybe 0.6, 0.7, start off around around there, 0.8. And then I'm going to um, come down right to the bottom to the vignetting. There's two different types of vignetting, post-crop and uh, standard vignetting. So I'm going to start off with the post-crop. Let's bring that down, I think probably down to about minus 70 or so. You don't want to overdo it. Um, that kind of darkens around the animal and gets rid of the background. And then maybe let's bring a little bit of this with the normal vignetting, you can kind of bring it a bit closer to the subject by bringing the midpoint down. Okay, let's start off with that. From here on, we're going to be doing most stuff with spot adjustments. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can do it with the um, with the brush mask, where you can brush it in, or you can use this um, sort of oval tool, which I tend to use quite a lot. So let's start off with that. What I'd like to do is preserve the light on the side of the face. So I'm going to select that area. Um, I've got saturation turned on, so I'm just going to do that. Turn that off. Uh, we're then going to invert the mask, which means it's only going to affect everything around the mask, not in it. And then let's start off with putting the highlights down and then maybe pull down a bit of exposure too. Let's say to maybe around about there. Maybe let's just play with the feathering a little bit. Um, yeah, let's bring the feathering in a bit so it's kind of focused a bit more on that eye. Um, okay, that's a good start. Um, I want to paint away some of the light. Um, I feel like there's too much light on the background here for me at the moment. So I'm actually going to take this um, brush, turn that off again. I'm going to bring the highlights down and maybe bring the exposure down by a couple of stops too. And then I'm just going to paint that in. Uh, mainly around the edges of the cheetah. Around the ear, the top of the head there. Maybe around the side of the face a little bit. It's, this is called dodging and burning and um, it's, it's a bit of an art. You have to play around a lot. It doesn't necessarily work first time. So um, it's a lot of trial and error. Let's bring this highlights down a bit more. Um, okay. I feel like we need more darkness across this side of the face. So I'm maybe going to try, actually let's start off with um, an oval thing and we're going to select a bigger area. Maybe angle it slightly. I just want to get rid of some of this light on the back of it because if the sun was hitting the side of the cheetah, there would be shadows coming across here. So to my eyes, I think that looks like it needs to be toned down some. Okay, so before, after we're getting there um, what looks unnatural to me now is the fact that there's a lot of light in this eye and not in this eye so what I want to actually do is brighten up the eye so I'm actually zoom in a little bit so I can see a bit more accurately what we're going to do is select this whole eye start with the whole eye anyway and then we're just going to bring the exposure up on the eye maybe to around there and feather it a little bit more and I think what I'll do is I'll bring up the highlights too. And um, one good trick, sometimes highlights don't work that well. One good trick for this I find is to use the um, clarity 
slider which can really like bring out some of the highlights. I'll just do it in extreme way so you can see. You can see the difference it makes. It brings out the detail in the eye. And... So let's try that first. Okay, let's now zoom out and see how that looks. Looks a bit more natural there. Um, I still think we need, I think we need to bring down the, the exposure of the whole image a little bit. Um, and I think that we need, I think it's getting there actually at the bottom. I think we need maybe a touch more light bringing back onto this side of the face. So let's select another brush and just reset those. Bring a little bit back in and then let's just paint in this side. Okay. Maybe a touch more. Maybe around about there. Um, it's getting close now. I think we still need to bring the whole exposure down a little bit. That looks good. Um, okay, right, let's. A couple of more things I want to do, right? So I'm going to desaturate this image a bit um, to kind of give into that, that moody kind of vibe. It needs to not be too colourful. So let's bring down the saturation a little bit, bring down the vibrance a little bit, not too much. Um, I want to punch up the contrast a little bit, which will bring it a bit darker. And let's boost the clarity a load as well, which will bring out that texture and the uh, cheetah's face. It works particularly well. I mean, don't overdo it. That, for me, that's too much. But let's maybe bring it up to 50 or 60, let's say 50. Now, I think it's got a little bit too dark around the edges now. I've boosted that contrast. I probably should have started off with that contrast. So what I'm going to do is come back down here to the vignetting and just bring some detail back in like that. There we go. Now, I think we're going to do a couple more things. I'm going to use this gradient tool and use it to bring down the brightness on the top of the animal. Like I said, it's about playing around a lot, and experimenting, just trying stuff, seeing if it works. I just want to bring that down a little bit like that. I think that's that's getting there. And um, a couple more things with the eyes. What I would like to do, let's zoom in. Get rid of that so you can see a bit better. Um, again, let's use the um, the brush to paint it in. I'm going to do two things. First, I'm going to paint in darkness at the top of the eye. I'm going to like kind of accentuate that shadow across the top of the eye. I think that's going to look bring in that darkness there. Bring the darkness at the top there. Maybe even around the kind of edges of the eye. And now let's start a new one, another one like that. And then this time we're going to boost the highlights and like I did before, boost the clarity a load. And I'm going to paint that into the bottom of the eye to really bring out that detail. I and mean, it's got absolutely beautiful eyes. You can see the texture in that, that iris and I want to bring that out a little bit. Just paint that in around there. Make sure you get the highlights across the top there. Actually, that first one I've realised I painted too much into the highlights, so I'm going to select that again. And then to paint that away, you just need to come down here, so the brush, you turn it to a raise and make it slightly bigger. And I'm just going to raise what I did there in that highlight. Same on this side. That's about right. Do you know as well, this is quite a handy um, tool to know. Like if you um, hover over one of these, so click on it and then hover over it. It will show you as a mask where you've painted in, which can be really handy to see what you've done. Um, so click it and then hover over it and you can see who's done it. So I'm going to hit enter and zoom out and have a look at that. I may have overdone that a touch. In fact, maybe I'll bring down this clarity a little bit to 35. Um, I think like zooming out now it looks too much. So I'm going to click on that one again and I'm going to bring down that clarity to say say 25 and bring the highlights down a little bit as well. I often do this, I edit a bit too far, you get over a bit, you know, a bit overexcited, look at the image as a whole and then bring it down a bit after. So anyway, let's let's have a look at the um, after image again and see how closely I've matched my first one. So I've actually gone a bit darker and moodier as you can see, but it's quite easy to change that again. It's each time you edit these photos, I think that you can come out with a slightly different edit. So. I, I prefer the eyes in, in, in that one, so let's let's do a little bit more to those eyes. So, um, where did I select them? So let's go back into them, and then this time let's just boost that exposure a little bit to bring out the eyes. I don't want to go too mad, you don't want it to look fake like it's some kind of superhero cat or something. <laughs> 
Uh, let's click that in. And then what I think I might do is, I like the darkness, but I also like that in the other edit, I brought out the shadows a bit more. So I'm just gonna boost those shadows a little bit. Oops, I've accidentally selected the wrong bit. Hit enter, make sure you're not in there. And then let's just whack up these shadows. Actually, I'm not sure how that's working. Let's, let's try the blacks instead. And just bring out a bit more detail. So there you have it. That's taken, you know, several minutes. Um, it's quite a simple procedure, but it does require having the right image and a little bit of trial and error and playing around. Let's go from, uh, let's just go from the original, which is there, down to the dark and moody edit. If you guys have a go at this, uh, please do tag me on Instagram at Tom Archer Photo. I'd love to see um, what you come up with, and I'd be happy to share some of yours uh, on my stories just to show. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, please let me know. Catch you next time.